Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video and today um, I'm going to have you time out a very special sneaker that I'm surprised I got for the price I did. Um, you can't even see the logo on the box. But this is an Adidas box. It says A-ZX series. And honestly, this is a shoe that I did not... I was expecting a, a better box, honestly. This all-white box is threw me off entirely when I saw it. Uh, for the first time, but this is a shoe that uh, I definitely love. I love chunky dad sneakers. I don't know if uh, you guys have been able to pick up on that on my previous videos, but I just love sneakers that uh, are super thick, and this is absolutely one of them. This is the uh, I'll grab the other ones too. These are the Adidas Undefeated in Bape collaboration the Z let me see if it's on the box the ZX 8000 um, which I've seen ZX's in the past I've just never seen like I just never see anyone really get them I, I don't know anyone who actually has pairs of ZX's I don't know any youtubers that have ZX's or people on Instagram I don't know any of them but these shoes I keep seeing them everywhere and I've been wanting a pair and then I saw these come out and I was like if I can get them, I'll get them. And then these sat for crazy low amounts for a sneaker from Bape and Undefeated. Like, I honestly was expecting these to be like, at like 300 like around the 300 price. But these are going for under 150 or at least they were when I got them. Like, this is crazy low price for a very good looking sneaker. It's got... Obviously the green bape camo that is just absolutely crazy. It has a not kind of nylon feel to it. Um, then it has this kind of plasticky thing right here. I'm not really sure. Just kind of, I wouldn't call it a toe cap. I wouldn't call it a mud guard. I don't know what you would say because it's just kind of there. Um, but obviously the bape camo is the nylon part and then the rest of it. There's that little bit of green plastic. And then the rest of it is this suede. Or new buck. And yeah, this is definitely the reason I feel like it's probably at such a low price. This is this is okay. It feels nice. It's just you can feel it. It's not the highest quality they could have gone for. Um, this shoe overall, I think, could have been made better. But if you're getting it for like under 150 or around 150, you're probably not going to complain. It's still a nice sneaker. It looks great. Uh, there's also a black version, which was really, really cool. Uh, but I got the green one because I felt like I like I liked the green one more. The black one was cool, yeah, but didn't have as much personality to it. And this is my favorite part. Or actually, it's not. I say this is my favorite part. This is a cool feature, but I wish... Uh, this tongue was just fat. I, I would have rather had a fat tongue. But the tongue has a zipper on it. And you can open it up. And it's a little stash pocket. And the stash pocket has the green vape in it. The green vape camo. Um, there you, guys, you guys can see that. But yeah, that's, that's cool. But in all honesty, if I have to choose between those... Uh, empty tongue or a fat tongue. I'm gonna choose a fat tongue On the back of the shoe as you guys can see there's the bape head on this one And then there's this uh, the heel counter, which is a nice Feels this is the most quality part. It's like plastic, but like it still feels It feels and looks cool on this one instead of the bape. It has the undefeated logo um, And then a Bathing Ape in gold right there, and then Undefeated in gold on the other one. Um, something I do like is, I know this is a minor detail, and this is something no one's ever going to see. I do like these, uh, the logos on the soles, the outsole. That's pretty cool. I know that's like inconsequential to what it, uh, the shoe. Um, these do fit true to size. This is one of those shoes. Again, I've worn these once, and as you guys can see from the sole, for like two seconds. I just work so fucking much. I want to take a day off. I want to actually wear these shoes. I might stuff 
the tongues because they have a zipper just just to put something in them and on the inside of the tongue let me just read this off for you guys let me see is it on both return of the vape undefeated los angeles year 2020 yep return of the vape Um, yeah, I would recommend if you guys want these to get them true to size and they fit great true to size. Uh, I remember I put these on feet and I was like, holy shit, these feel amazing. These actually fit really, really well because I don't know if I've ever said this before, but Adidas always fits weird, especially with Boost. Boost always is super weird. So if you can try on a pair of Boost shoes, absolutely. But everything else, I'd say true to size. It fits. It fits like to my foot it always fits to my foot where i mean like it gives me the right amount of like snug but not like where it's crushing my foot i like it i really like it came with these extra gray laces that i'll never use uh actually just to show you guys i don't intend to sell these boom let's just get rid of that tag uh yeah these just tags i don't need the extra laces I'll just put back in the box. Yeah, I like to wear my shoes. If I end up needing to sell these later on, oh fucking well. This is one that I'm very, very happy to have. I just really like the overall uh, dad shoe aesthetic. I think you guys have been able to tell that. I don't know when this video is coming out, uh, but as of right now, I have three last videos to film. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. Uh, hopefully my new content will be coming soon. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing because uh, this these part these last uh, these next couple of videos are kind of uh, me doing these middle of the night right before I go to bed. So if I seem tired or out of it, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I do like filming these because I get to just sit here and appreciate the shoes for what they actually are, um, which is something I really don't do because obviously I'm I, I work. Probably at, at the least six days a week. It's very tiring. So I, I'm hoping that I can get to a point where I'm wearing my shoes more. And without without the fear of spilling chemicals. Because where I work, I don't want to just buy a brand new pair of shoes and spill chemicals on them. If uh, I didn't have that, I'd absolutely wear these to work and beat the hell out of them. But thank you guys for watching. Uh... Please like, subscribe, comment, any of that. Do whatever uh, you can. And um, thank you for supporting. Uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, just sticking around. Uh, I notice a lot of people subscribe. I don't, but I don't get those views, which I'm fine with. But uh, thank you for subscribing anyway. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm going to end this because I'm kind of rambling and ranting. Uh, but thank you so much and have a wonderful day.